I said, yo! What's happening, family? <laughs> What's happening, family? It's your boy, Trap Vision 3D, man. Uh, yeah, welcome to the lifestyle. Welcome to the lifestyle. And as, as always, man, her fight is my fight, man. My wife has endometriosis, a.k.a. Demetrius is what I call it because uh, it took me a minute to learn how to say that. Uh, but anyway... Let me uh get started by saying what's up to Kyle, to my man Fats. You know what I'm saying? What's going on, brother? The man, that's my hype man right there, bro. Hey, yeah, yeah, man. If y'all know nothing about Fats, man, the Victor 202, man, you better go over there and holler at your boy. You know what I mean? So today, y'all, we are doing something uh that's similar to what I've done in the past with the show. Um basically, uh we are looking at watches, watch collecting from a different perspective. Let me tell you what really inspired me to do this. Uh, and, yeah, we're going to have a special guest tonight. And it's no surprise, man. Y'all already know him. I actually got a, uh, one of my pieces on. Man, if this gives you any type of clue as to who's coming on the show tonight, that's who's coming on. Um, so, but before I bring him up, man, um, this is what really inspired me to do this. I've been uh, watching YouTube for years, man, years, and I've watched uh, Fat Cat Collections. I've watched uh, the Urban Gentry. I've watched Watchbox. I've watched so many different ones, man. And from my perspective, from where I'm from, we didn't too much care about movements, man. We just wanted a watch that looked good, man, that if I went and spent $100 on, like, that thing better last longer than 30 days. You know, uh, that's what, you know, really based it off of. Uh, there were some in the neighborhood that if you got to a certain level, then you bought a Rolex. Didn't matter what it was, but you, if you were able to get a Rolex, just a stunt, just to show that, hey, man, I bought this Rolex. I'm good to go. That's what it was, man. But, you know, here it is. Fast forwarding. I look at watch collecting a little different than I was when I was a kid. You know, it was something fun, something nice to have on so I could tell time and whatnot, man. But things have changed. And one thing that I hardly ever talk about or oh, uh, hear on there is if you say type in best watches or best watches for men and you'll see all these different ones pop up, right? And you know, you'll have somebody try to inspire you to get a brand new watch, right? That costs about seven or eight thousand dollars, sometimes ten thousand dollars. But then when you get it, you're like, oh I got it. But then there's maintenance and other stuff and unnecessary attention that you probably don't want. Uh, that stuff comes along. You really don't hear all this stuff that, you know, all the bad stuff that comes along with collecting, you know. So hold on, let me check this out. Hold on. Man. I gotta I gotta make sure my guest comes up, man, because the guest that's coming, he uh he got a game tonight. Well, he has a game, he has a Rangers game. So that's also telling you guys who's coming up. So if y'all don't know by now, man. I know some of y'all should know. What up? Hold up, I'm gonna greet y'all in just a second. Let me make sure I can get a man to come in and grab the link. If I can get it, I'm having troubles. I was trying to get, get this stuff uh, ready earlier, man. I was busy at work today, man. So my man, my man, if you in there, man, I just dropped it. You go ahead and grab that. Well, let me see who we got in here. Kyle, Godfather, what's happening? Sheldon, you know what I'm saying? John, what's happening? Kenny. Yeah, yeah, I'll be on the TV. Hey, man, Kyle, bro, you can hit me up. Like, keep on in here. What's up, man? Mark Jones. Yeah, yeah, hold on. Ha! So I already know that y'all know who's coming up, man. So like I said, I got him for a limited time because he got a game tonight, man. But, of course, I wore this. Look, he got his jersey on. He ready to go, man. So let's go ahead. And get my man. Oh, hold up, hold up. Where you go? Where you go? Add to the stream. <coughs> King Magnum himself, man. Magnum Vic, Woo. man. What's happening? Yo. What up? What's up? What what up? up? <laughs> <laughs> Not much. Just a uh, big game coming up. Big live show with you coming up. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm here. I'm Bro. here, man. So, uh, man, I appreciate you being on here, man. Uh, yeah, man. before we it, it, look, I wore I even got one over here on, on standby, man. I got the Magnums right here, yeah. and you know, you already know what it is. Uh, yeah. I remember, I remember when Magnums, man, was like the hottest item, man. They were expensive, 
<laughs> they, they, they were. Um, hi to everybody. I got the tablet on the side. So Sheldon, Ken, anybody I missed, John, hello, everyone. Smitten, if she's watching, hello, everybody. Um, yeah, I mean, I wasn't crazy for them, bro, when they first came out. And I, I, you know that. Um, the price point was crazy high. I think they were well over four ninety nine, and I'm talking for the strap version. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. I think I think I went like twenty pieces before I got my first Magnum, which uh, this one right here, which we all know. Mm, yeah, the well, yellow they had this the camera, pretty yeah, good. They had this, yeah, black strap. They had this in the red and the yellow. I went for the yellow, and believe it or not, then this was three ninety nine. On a strap. On a strap. And I just, I said, you know what? Let me take it home. If I like it, I'll keep it. If I don't, I'll go back. And um, sure enough, I love it. 30 some odd later, I got, I only brought down five with me. But it was, you know, we're talking about firsts and, you know, so. But we'll get to them in a little bit. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I wasn't. You know what? I mean, what do you think about that, Vic, man? I mean, we, bro, like, we've been talking about watches. We've collecting, you know, we've been collecting for a while now, man. Our relationship got built off of watches, man. And I know, you know, we's always crack jokes on me talking about, like, you started with a watch. But right. literally, a lot of relationships have started with a watch, man. But from my angle, just from what I see, like, you type in, large watch, I mean, just watches, period, on YouTube or even on Google, and, and Victor's not in there, man. Like, and it's not, hey, it is what it is if it's not, but I'm just saying yeah. nobody ever talks about buying a, a, a affordable watch that has so a different style or what have you. You know what I'm saying? They always try to push the yeah. narrative of buying these more expensive watches, man. Like, yeah. to me personally, bro, like, it, it's nerve-wracking, honestly. It is. To me. And you know what? And, and if that's what floats your boat, that's fine. See, the difference between those collectors and and I'm going to say uh, this family here um, is we don't bash the other brand. Right. We just, we just don't. I mean, we don't like it. I mean, I, it's not for me. I'm not going to bash it. You like it? You like it. Right. The, the bashing that keeps going on, it's uncalled for. Um, again, you like what you like. Who am I to tell you what to buy? I know we've heard this before, but... The difference is there and on the other side, how could you wear how could you wear this this Invicta big diamond timepiece and all gaudy and, and big and the detail looks like a tank. I mean, how could you <laughs> wear something like that? You know, what I, you know what I mean? Which by the way, first diamond from the cruise. So you know this was coming out. Right, but, right, uh, right. Yeah, right. It, it's it's stuff like that. I mean, I mean, there's room for everyone to play with whatever you choose. To, to, to buy or not buy. So, you know, it's stay in your court, stay in your lane. Like Kenny likes to say, we'll stay in our lane, but see, we'll let you in our group. That's the difference. We'll let you in. You know what I mean? So, okay. Yeah. And see, Hey, Angel, give me just a moment. Angel, uh, we got Angel. He's, he's uh in, in the uh, green room. Uh, I want to cover with this with Vic real quick, Angel. So give me just a moment. Uh, so, I mean, I had the opportunity to talk to a, a Rolex. I mean, this guy collects everything. He's literally, he just ordered a the Batman. You know, he showed me the Batman. And we talk about watches, you know, and he knows yeah. that I, I respect his collection. He, I actually have two watches from his collection. He gave me two uh, two Pro Divers, 40 millimeter Pro Divers. One Coca-Cola bez bezel and the other one would be considered the uh, Smurf, right? right. If, you, if it was a, a Rolex to be considered a smurf so he was like hey i started my collection with these and i just gradually you know graduated to some other stuff and this is what he liked you right we don't like we don't bash each other's collections you know he asked me he said hey would you wear a smaller piece i said i do have a couple of 42 mils i got a 44 and now i got the 40 millimeters i actually got a 38 millimeter in the back you know right. uh, it was automatic i got years ago uh but Again, I just don't care to wear those anymore. And I much rather wear something that either A, is a collaboration with a character or something like that, something that kind of just talks to, to me, speaks to me. Right. Uh, right. Something that if it do breaks, I can get it fixed. 
and it's not going to cost me an arm and a leg. Right. And that's right. the, that's the thing, too. Uh, who was I talking? I think that was Steve I was talking to, bro. He was saying that uh, to get a uh, the Nautilus, the paddock Nautilus uh, repaired was like $10,000. 10 grand. Can you imagine that, bro? No, I yeah. couldn't imagine that. I couldn't imagine that. Ten grand. I'll buy how many magnums I could buy with ten grand. <laughs> I'd buy the I'd buy the whole lot for ten grand. If I got about a fifty slot, I'd have like two hundred slot. I'd get them all. You know what I mean? Hey, Kyle, uh, Kyle said I got to get better friends to give me watches. Uh, listen, what, listen, what all? Look, look at what, what my my brother also said. Look, Rich, you can't can't beat a man. Look at that nice official jersey. Leech, come on. <laughs> don't hate, don't hate, don't hate the real team of New York, not you Long Island folk. Woo! Wow. <laughs> That's a battle in itself. <laughs> so, Vic, man, I got to yeah. ask you, man. So, you had the people like they've they seen you on John's show, like when you did your interviews, they see the pictures that you have on Instagram. Um, when did you start, like, when did you fall in love with Magnus? Fell in love pretty much after I got the first one. Once it came home, so that, that was definitely 2017, I'd say, after my 20th buy, and that came in. And then that's been it, man. I fell in love. I just fell in love with the design, the look, the build. And now because uh, my, my my Italian brother also is one of – Hey, hey, look at that one, Rich. Ooh, is that the one you want? want, Right? That's the one he wants right there. Shouldn't make fun. (laughs) Woo! But see, then they change it to where they put first time, never numerals on the dial. dial. Right. Um, To me, and this is good, just me. There's no other watch in Invictus brand that looks like the Mac. Right. Um, That's true. That's true. There isn't. There's no hybrids of it. There's nothing close to it. Um, there's hybrids of other everything else, and I just I fell in love when I got the first one. I said, "Let me get it home." I did, and it, it, that was it. That was it. And then they all just started coming out with the different styles and platings, graffitis. You know that was coming. First graffiti that they came out with. Well, first true graffiti because the other one was just the base. Yes, the uh, case. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But, um, you know, and yes, if there's a set. Vic's getting a set. <laughs> you know and what you I mean? Have, and you have the whole set of those, right? I got all three of those. Okay. I got all three of those. I got all three of these. Um, I got the set, the one that just had on the other night, the roll, all rose gold and the all gun metal. Mm-hmm. I got those two. I got those two. I'm saving the best for last. We know what the best for last is at my Magnums. But, um, and I just fell in love, uh, Trap, from that moment that, that this one came home. Mm-hmm. That was it. That was it. Um, my second one was, I think John had shown it on his Instagram, the hydroplated, um, with the one you have too. Oh yeah, to yeah, 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 yeah. That yeah, was yeah. that was right. That was my first. Of, that was my second. So I went right from that to that. Then my third was the camo blue, and then it just that was it. All right. So, I mean, so from your, I mean, I'm going to ask from your perspective, because that's what this is. This show is all about, bro. It's like different perspectives and like anybody, you guys can just chime in, man, and just leave your comments in there. Like, yeah, I'm what, trying to read them. So like, what, what is, from your perspective, what is it that you like about watch collecting? What can you do without, you know, uh, like, for example, for me, I could do without the, um, the presence of your hatred, I can do without that. And, and let me explain. Right, I I've agree. Been in situations where I can wear a, an Invicta watch, and there's people that will comment saying, "Dude, why, why buy six watches from Invicta, and you can just buy this one watch?" And I'm like, "Dude, that is so dis. I feel like that's so disrespectful because I'm like, it is. bro, it is." Why don't you just tell me this? Why don't you just say, hey, have you ever seen this watch before? Do you like this watch? And if I right. say, oh, that's a dope watch. That's nice. Where'd you get it from? How much it costs? And you say, hey, this watch was $6,000. I'm like, ooh, I would like to have that. That'll take me a minute to, you know, give me the option yeah. to, you know, to dig into the history of it. 
because right. everybody don't dig into the history of watches. They not moved by the history of watches. I was talking no. to Tony Wall. Yes, I think it was yesterday, and he said if he was on the show, I know he's he's actually working out. He's doing a um, uh, he's he's leading a gym or something like that tonight. Yeah, I saw one of his YouTube videos on that. Right. So he told me this. He said, "Bro, when I look at a watch, the first thing I I, I see is the style of it. Right. I see the colors. Will it will it match what I'm rocking? And I get it. One, he don't care about the movement." He care about the payment. He don't want to pay like too much. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think I think we all care about that payment, except right. if it's you know, except if I mean the last one I'm going to show, and you know I'll show it now. I mean, obviously, my Turbion is my prize. Mm. This is it. If I had to keep one watch, it's this one right here. Um, we all know how expensive this was, and yeah. you know when they dropped it to four ninety nine, I was it wasn't going to go any lower than that, and. You know, nope. I grabbed it, but, you know, I agree with Tony. And we all know, you know, if we saw John's video on Sunday when I was this, you know, because Godfather asked if the movement was going to stop me. And it's not because, like, this watch I'm wearing today, the Coalition Forces Sandstone. Right. Okay. I'm going to wear this today. I don't, want to, I don't know where I'm wearing it next. So it doesn't have to be a perfect movement because if it's off a minute when I put it back on, that's why they had this little thing that you pull out and you adjust. <laughs> and I'll adjust it. I'll adjust it back to the exact time. And you know what? It's keeping perfect time right now. That's all I care about. As long as it keeps perfect time while it's on my wrist, the movement's so, not going to go its way. So Sydneycom Review said, my biggest pet peeve is watch snobs that don't even own the watches. They think, uh, let me see, are so great. And at the same time, talk down to other people, uh, watch choices. I agree with that. I agree with that. And that's yeah. and that's what I'm talking about. That, no. uh, give me just a second, Angel. Um, that's what I'm talking about is uh bro, why how can you sit here and bad mouth? And it's not even I'm gonna tell you another uh, watch brand that gets so much hate, man. Uh uh Hublo. Oh man, yeah. dude, if you say Hublo, Big Bang or whatever, man, people yeah. like, why would you buy that dumb watch? Why would you yeah. even look at that? And I, I'm going to be honest with you. I looked at some of their designs. They have some nice watches. They, they do. do. They do. I, I we saw, can admit uh, that. We can I admit that. One. I can't pay for it, though. That's too expensive for me. That's way too rich yeah. for my blood. Way too rich. I, I'm, I'll i stay with my Invicta pieces. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'm good. I'm good on that. Me too. So, I mean, you're right. I mean, it just, but again, see, you won't bash it. You know, right. that's, we're just a different, we're just different, I guess. I mean, I, I guess like the popularity maybe of Invicta maybe is what gets them. Um, one Saturday when, you know, New York was a pretty good place to go to, um, you know, Janet and I would always hit the Invicta Times Square store all the, all the time. I mean, all the time. And it was a buy two, get four. We did it. We saw a Broadway show. We went to eat. <laughs> we did our buy two, get four. And the Tassol store is right there. Now, it's, it's a couple hundred feet away. Right. Empty. Completely empty where the salespeople were like this on the, on the counters. Two doors down, the Invicta store, you couldn't move. Couldn't move with the people in. So I, I don't know. If it, I, I don't know. Right. I don't know, if it, I don't know what it is. If it's hatred over that, if it's they think it's an inferior watch. I'll put my Invicta watch up against anything. I mean, quality-wise... Dude, I dropped a Venom from my bathroom sink by accident. I put it on the corner. I was doing something, and I knocked it with my elbow. It fell four feet down onto a tile floor on its side. I thought the watch was done. Nothing. You had a two-by-four fly out of a tire of a car. Yeah. Hit grand yes. You went like that to protect yourself. <laughs> you thought the watch was done. I thought, <laughs> oh, that thing hit me. I was like, oh. I said my watch broke. I didn't even want to look at it. I said it's broke. Yeah. I know it's broke. I looked at it had some wood splinters in it. I was like, wow, dude. I said, okay. That's yeah. crazy. And that was my Koi Venom. I just got that. I am like, you know, I'm like, I was getting ready for whatever it was friend Richard went to take it off, you know, and this turn around and do something and it fell. I mean, I mean, I can't explain it. I'm just glad I'm in this family that right, we right, chose right. it, we appreciate it. And so, you know, so 
so let me ask you this because I'm looking at you know uh, there the people are chiming in. Send you come just chimed in. Uh, he yeah. said because it's a popular thing to do uh, to hate on and evict uh, for the sheep of the watch community, the black sheep. And it yep. is, it is. And you know, and guys, right after Vic is off, um, I'm actually doing a live flame review on the watch that I'm just going back. And Vic, you already know what watch it is. I posted it, yeah. and you guys just have to stand by and see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna bring Angel up here in just a second. Um, and I know Vic, you got you got your Ranger got, game. To, yeah, to go about to. ten minutes. Yeah, I got ten, good ten minutes. Okay, to go. Okay, so let me see. All right, Rico, send, send okay. love. Okay. He say, uh, Ray T said, I agree with you. Uh, you buy what you enjoy, and I will do the same thing. <laughs> and man, dude, like I mean, so, but you know the thing about it is. Um, that's one of the most annoying things in the world, man. It's especially to be in a room full of people that have, I mean, yes, I'm in the auto industry as well as Vic. There are people in the auto industry that spend, like if they make two or $300,000 a year or more, they play real big. So they, they have right. some of the, the more expensive time pieces. And right. when you come in a room and certain people compare you like, Oh, you got, is that what, what is that? Oh, and Invicta. Or you hear the, is that a fake Rolex? Or yeah, I'm like, it's it doesn't not matter. Happening. Right. <laughs> it's not, right. I'm not wearing nothing fake. You know, like somebody got some, uh, it was a website that, that bought, they sell fake Invictus. You know, like the uh, Joker watch was $39 or something like that. I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That ain't real. Like, I don't yeah. know who would go through that much trouble to make a fake Invictus, a fake Invicta watch. But I'm like, look. Value pay your way to success, bro, like to happiness or whatever it is you're going to do. But you don't have to spend, you know, you don't have to spend a ton of money. And nope. I can tell yeah. you for all of you guys that's in the chat right now, anybody that's watching this on a replay, if you and your heart of hearts decide, I will not buy a watch until I can buy a Rolex. Hey, man, more power to you. You put that Rolex right. on and you want to come on the show and talk about that Rolex. Guess what? Right where Vic is. Oh, hold up. You're on this side. Right where Vic is, and you sit, you park your butt right there, and you talk yep. about that watch. And I, right. I tell you this, I we just got through talking about Rolexes, and if if I was to get any Rolex, the one that really just like does it for me is the uh, Daytona. Right. I like the Daytona. I love the look of the Daytona. I love it. You know what I'm saying? But if I can have it in a 46 mil, <laughs> I'm like I just you know what I'm saying. I much rather have a yeah. larger watch. That's right. just me. yeah. Yeah, it's look, it's again, that's the difference. See, you'll have him on your show and talk about it. You know? Steve, okay, we I mean Steve's relatively new, new, new with us here. He's getting ready to go on a cruise when it comes on. And you know what? He's yeah. gonna be embraced. He's gonna be embraced by everybody. No one's gonna say, Oh, you know what, because you like Seiko more, you like your, you know, core watches more. It doesn't matter. That again, not to sound like a broken record, but that again is the difference between our group, our family, compared to everybody, to everybody else. I mean, true, true, bro. I mean, so I got a chance to talk to, like, we were in Steve's conversation over there on IG, right? And basically, somebody asked me the question, like, hey, would you consider um, Invicta like a cult following? And I said, you can look at it like that. I mean, just like, in, I'm not, I don't have to defend it. Uh, right. it, it is, so to speak, because I feel like from my from my view, Invicta people tend to stick to themselves, man, where you may yeah. have somebody that like uh, a Tudor Black Bay, which basically Tudor is made is a Rolex. You know what I'm saying? So like those people, which is crazy, which is crazy, is I know a guy that bought a, a, a Tudor, right? And there was another guy that said, well, why didn't you get, you might as well just save a little bit more money and got the Rolex versus the Tudor. I said, because he bought the tutor, bro. Like, <laughs> he bought what he wanted to buy. You know, I know really, I, why even comment? Why even comment about it? Bro. It, it doesn't. I don't understand. You like you like plain pizza. I like pepperoni. What what, 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 what are we talking? <laughs> you know what I mean? What are we talking about? Gotcha. You buy. You like. You buy what you like. You wear what you like. You you drive what car you like. I mean, is right. everything a? It doesn't. Everything doesn't have to be a competition, except. Oh, so look at you. That's a topic for that's a topic for another. Life. I mean, <laughs> but you know what? You can, you can't connect it, man. 
you know, because if you look at it from a, a different angle, man, uh, watches, bro, like watches actually bring up other stuff, man. Because like I said, collaborations. But right. Speaking of which, I have like this military piece. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you pull that up and then automatically off top. That's a whole topic. Even yeah. if they hate the watch, man, that's a whole topic because people respect that uniform. They they respect that military piece and they're like, oh man, you serve and then like you're having a whole conversation. Now, the person may hate big watches, but guess what? They're going to compliment you because for yeah. the most part. Now, you may get yeah. somebody being a butthole. Oh, you know, uh, you, I mean, you, you get them. I mean, I get complimented I mean, all the time. The watch I wore yesterday the vintage. I got more compliments on that vintage yesterday than most of my most of any other watch I put on sometimes. I mean, except when I got my Mac. You know, one guy saw when he saw the Turbion, he was like, "They pay you a day." He goes, "What do they pay you here for you to have a watch like that?" He goes, "You should." He goes, "You should be retired." You know, I'm like, uh, "Listen, yeah, you know, I wish, I wish, but not yet." But um, you know, I get compliments. You know, more some more than others. You know, my interstate battery guy. He makes a purpose to stop before he goes for and, and talk watches with me. Mm. He makes a point of it because he, you know, he enjoys it. He just was in Puerto Rico. He goes, "Oh, dude, I was thinking about you. I landed in Puerto Rico, and I'm getting my luggage, and there's a huge Invictus place in there. Right away, I thought about, oh, man, if this guy, that, for, you know, works where uh, Victor is, man, he'd be happy in this place." I'm like, "Yeah, probably would," <laughs> but most definitely, you know, that, that, that's the bond I like. It's it's stuff like that. Now he's not an Invictus guy per se, but. He, he won't leave without seeing what I got on, talking about it, how many you got. You know what I mean? And that's what it's and that's what it should be about. It shouldn't be about what you didn't buy. A, how come you didn't buy a, a, a you know, AP? How come you didn't buy a Richard <laughs> Melee? If I'm even saying it right, you know, because I didn't want to. This is what, this is what I want to buy. You know, man. Look, uh, you know, I can say this: anything can be offensive at this point. There's there's a lot of things that's offensive at this point, you know. Uh, I Thanks, had, Ray. you know, one of the guys at my job had to say, "Well, why do you drive that car, man? You should go ahead and trade it in and get you uh, uh, whatever." I and get I that too. Him, well, when I decide to trade the car in to get something else, I'll do that. Until then, right? Go and I get it. Business. You drive. You drive what you like. I mean, I mean, really, you know, you drive what you like. As simple as that. Well, you know what I mean? Hopefully, you know, one of the things I'm and I, it's no secret, Vic. You know me, you know how I move, man. One of the things I, I would love to come from this show, and I ask that you guys please leave comments if you're catching this on the replay, leave a comment, you know, if you want to see more of this. Um, there'll be I'll be doing premieres on this. I'll just be doing like content while I just drop it where you can just watch it, you know what I'm saying, five, six minutes of it, and then go about your day. Uh but I want to, you know, I want to talk to the people that buy watches just because they love it. And and it don't matter what brand it is. And I can say this. I can go right now and say, man, I left my watch at home and just go buy a Timex real quick or something. Like I, there was a Casio at, uh, at what was it, Walmart. It was $23. And right. it was the same size. It was the same size as a Grand Diver. And I was like, it looked like a Grand Diver. I said, I should buy this watch, even though it's a Casio, because I don't have one. And I hate leaving my watches in oh I hate when I'm rushing and I mm -hmm. so like what I started doing is I, I got the watch starter kit. I leave a, a just a regular diver, a, a neutral colored diver okay. in my glove box. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, it takes me 15 minutes to I gotta get up 15, you know, I gotta takes me 10, 15 minutes to decide what watch I'm gonna put on. You know what I mean? It takes a mm -hmm. while. But uh yeah so yeah this is a great format, you know, to get the views and you know and everything and perspective is really good and looking forward to the flame review coming up in a little bit too. Yeah, yeah, I'm uh I'm actually we about to get into that man. So uh, bro, I, I'm gonna leave it like you got any closing statements because I know your game about to come on, bro. Game about to come on, yeah. We're gonna kick ass tonight, Richard. So take that. Uh, <laughs> um, closing statement is plain and simple. You like what you like, and don't have anyone else tell you different. Uh, and if you're not a part of this family, come on in. We'll take you. We don't. We don't <laughs> hope. We don't. We, we don't bash. We'll take you. And little by little, cause see Steve now, 
getting more of them big Victor's coming, isn't he? Getting more of them and Victor's coming. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, I'm going to say, look, just you like, you buy what you like, man. If you like it, it's all that matters. Doesn't matter yeah. if this guy don't like it, this guy don't like it. If yes, you sir. like it, you grab it. That's it. That's the yes, best, the best thing I can say. You know what I mean? The best. That's the best way I can leave it is is with that. Well, you know what, Vic? I always appreciate when you come on, man. A uh, lot of love, man. Just like for real, for real. I mean, because right, right, yeah. yeah, my right. closing statement for you is: you make collecting fun. You make you make collecting Invictus fun, man. And the fact that you know, I just traded two watches to get this one right here. That's a um, nice one. I got it, but you know, that's a no, nice I know one. You, you have it already, and that and that's just it. Is like I'm like okay, now I have a watch similar to my bro. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. I, that right there makes it worth my while. You know, I'm like I love that, and then it makes me look forward to the cruise. So when we get to the cruise, and then yeah. we get to just relax, and you don't have to worry about nothing else. All your troubles, all the stuff that we're talking about, all the different perspectives of what watch collecting is supposed to be, so yeah. per se, it goes yeah. out the window. And it's like, you just out accept it, you love, there's no bullying, there's no bullying, and there's no bullying. Stop no, the bullying. Right. Stop that's the hate, right. bro. Like, we got enough stuff out in the that's world. Right. There's a narrative yeah. out there that's being spun and people falling into it. We, yeah. like That shouldn't even be, like, did you know how bad that looks? America, the world is under attack right. from the vid and everything else, hate crimes and all kind of stuff. And then you're gonna bring that that negative noise to watch collecting? No, give nope. me a break. <laughs> not, in this, not, no. Not, not, not no, not in this group. No way, man. No way. So, bro, uh, I'm gonna let you go. Thank you so much for coming in, bro. Man, nothing but love this way. Hell yeah. And yeah. uh yes, we about to start this flame review up, man. So yeah, I'm gonna right, I'm gonna sit down, uh flame review on the phone, shop on the tablet, rangers on the big screen, rangers get the big screen. And uh <laughs> and uh yeah, I enjoy it too, man. I always enjoy coming on the lives. Yes, sir. Um next Monday, Kenny's live. Woo, you guys don't want to miss that. Don't want to miss Kenny's live next Monday. That's gonna be epic. <laughs> <laughs> we got some stuff up our sleeves for that, and um, we, they, we got some. Not, they, that. they don't know. They don't know. And if you don't want, you want to talk about Invicta and, and not have the hate, come over to Invicta Seven Five Seven. It's nothing but pure love there. No hate. You get if you hit one hateful comment, this moderator over here and boot you out. Boom, out of there. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. anyway, salute everyone. Yes, sir. Love you guys. Must be a pleasure. Bro. We'll do it again. We'll do it again soon. Okay. No problem. You no, always welcome, bro. Thanks, bro. All right, family. So we about to kick start uh the flame review, man. Flame review. But before we get started, man, I said I was gonna do this for uh well, actually, they don't know. They don't know that I was going to do this. So give me just a second, man. And I want to pull up my collectors of the evening. Come on, let's see here. Uh-oh. Maybe not. I don't think it's... Hold up. It's not going to let me do it. It didn't load right. Sorry. I get them on the next one. Uh, So, let's jump right off into this review. So, I want to say I got this watch nearly two years ago. It'll be two years in... I want to say October of this year. It'll be two years. And I bought this watch based on the collaboration that Invicta had with the United States Army. And it's this piece right here. This right here, y'all, is a pro diver. And as you can see, it has United States seal on the back of it, right? I gave this thing high marks. I even went as far as saying that this watch is my grill piece, right? Most notable mention, something that I'm like, hey, I, I love it. Now, let me go through some of the descriptions on it. Gun metal. Y'all see that, man. Not The links aren't hollow at all. And then it has that scissor-style deployment clasp on it. And, of course, the case back, as you can see, for what it's worth, I know sometimes right now the United States isn't viewed as being the best right now. 
Uh, but and it comes with an NH35 in it, man. This thing has the NH35 is automatic. I rank this pretty high. Now I'm gonna show you something else it has, man. I thought was pretty cool was like this this tie down. It's just holding like these metal bars, man. It just represented for me. It took me back. This was probably one of the most emotional purchases I've ever made with a watch. Because for those of you guys don't know, don't know, I'm fire service, and, and there's a lot that I went through in the military, a lot that I've accomplished, and I know there are a lot of men and women that sacrifice their lives, man. So this is more to me than just a watch. This represents everybody that's fought. I don't care. Even though this is the Army version, they just brought out the Navy, still waiting on the Marines and stuff like that. But as far as this, I gave it five stars or five flame. However, going back on this thing, if anybody see this right now, this watch is, I want to say $89 on a once only. Uh, over on Shop HQ. And I'm not saying that the watch isn't great still, but let me give you a close-up. You see that right there? The four is faded. The five is faded. And hold up. Let me see if you can see it. You see how it's starting to fade a bit? Just letting you get an up close and personal. And on here, on the bezel, it's not picking it up. On the bezel, it's starting to chip. The paint is coming off. So what I did was I reached out to Invicta and said, hey, uh, I got an issue. Uh, even though I know I had this watch for over a year now, uh, going on two years, uh, the actual ink from the bezel is coming off. Now, I know how it came off because I was wearing a jacket, right? And it was rubbing up against the bezel as I was doing my job, and it wore off. I asked if there was something they can do. Uh, haven't got they haven't got back with me on that one yet. So, the if you go back to my episode where I gave this a five flame, uh, I will have to take a flame back. Matter of fact, I'm taking a flame and a half. I still say the watch is is phenomenal. It has a flame fusion crystal in it. Um, still does. I mean, I still feel that the watch other than that part is great but that right there just turned me all the way off man it like it just broke my heart i was like i understand that companies use ink and stuff like that which i brought out another watch that invicta has and this watch is a lot older than this one i've worn this watch this i bought this watch uh, well actually my wife bought me this one and it's same bill has the same NH35 now. This has a, a mineral crystal in it. And I wore this to work every day at Enterprise. And guess what? Anybody that know I was an assistant manager at Enterprise, I washed cars on a regular basis. And I washed cars in this watch. As you can see, the numbers are solid on there. And I imagine they use the same ink process. Now, this watch is two years older than this one. Both of these are 47 millimeters. This one, however, I mean, it still has an inch 35. It has a stamp clasp. Now, I brought these out to compare it because this one, I would say there was a, uh, I don't know, the quality department just kind of went, it tanked on me. It tanked on me, let me see. Vic just said, <laughs> Vic is giving us an update. So as far as this watch is concerned. This came in four different variations. This came with uh, this color. They came in all silver, and there's a two-tone gold variation. I think all gold as well. And right now, like I said, it's, it's under $100. When this first came out, I paid $169. I, no, I had a coupon, 25% off. So I probably paid like $140 when it first came out. I'm still waiting for Invicta to get back with me on this watch, man, because I asked, could they, I don't want them to send me a new one because I don't want it to do the same thing. I asked, I requested for them to actually put hydroplating on this. Like they can hydro dip the bezel. Not sure. You know, uh, simple question. So that's, that's the, my review for that watch right there. I don't, I like, honestly, if you're buying that, you want to buy it to wear it. I don't recommend it. Me personally, I don't. I don't recommend that one, man, because the quality. Now, I don't know about, like, they fixed the issue, but I know 
that I've had this particular watch for almost two years. And it's faded already. I'll fill you in on your comments. Okay. Hold on, let me. Yeah. What's up, man? What's going on, Steve? Hey, people, 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 I'm, I'm rocking today, Steve. Oh, man, my phone keep going off. So, um, as far as, like, in, I'm going to tell you this, too. The one thing, like, when people do, like, I've seen people do reviews on watches and stuff like that, and I haven't, I don't think I've ever done it too much, man. Like, give you an alternative. Uh, right now, they got the Navy watches out, right? And I know some people are up in the area with it. You know, some people bought it. Some people said no because of the camouflage on it. It reminds them of the Army watches. But see, as far as the quality is concerned, I'm not sure. I you know, haven't seen anybody or heard anybody say that, you know what I'm saying, they have to run into the same issue. And I don't even think they made this one. They made it in the Sea Hunter. Now, I got this one. This is hydroplated. It's automatic as well. And it's a lot, lot larger. Uh, if they were to do this again, I would, you know, I would much rather Invicta do this watch and hydroplating because if they can't get this one right, man, like, like I, I, I couldn't do it, man. And I really like this watch, and I, I don't want to get rid of it, but like at this point, I don't know what to do. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I'm not, not gonna wear it. Still gonna wear the thing. Oh, and that's all good, bro. That's all good. You miss Vic? Vic was just on. Vic was just on. Hold on. All right. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to drop this link again. And what I'm going to do, if you guys, I know Kyle said he wanted to come on. If you guys want to come up, right, and talk about, you know, your watch collect well not so much your watch collection but like your perspective how do you feel about you know uh watches what has been your experience since you've been like buying watches if you are into Invicta if you into and, and keep in mind please keep an open mind on this one I do carry other watches man I got my Casio over here of course I do and I collect other stuff man you know what I'm saying I, I collect other watches uh so don't don't feel like just because I rock Invicta more, more like 90% of my collection is in Victor. Don't feel like you can't come on the show. You know, if you are primarily a Rolex collector, you're more than welcome to come up on the show. I have no problem, no calls with that. Let me see. I'm let me get into these comments real quick. I have three watches where the case loves backed out. Yeah, I want to come on. Okay. And to the stream. Hey, hey, what's going what? on, Trap? What's hey, up, what's fam? going on, man? MJ, what's happening? Hey, I'm here. I'm here, man. Hey, bro. Yeah, I feel you on these comments, dude, on some of these watches. You know, we wonder about the quality of some of these watches. You know, um, I said the one watch, I mean, I was, uh oh, hold on one second. Look like one of my legs is falling. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Um, Hey, hold, this up, watch, hold, right? up, hold up, bro. Uh, before before okay. we get started, and just to let you know, this is Mr. Sick Witty, MJ. And for him to be on right now, for him to be showing himself right now, speaks volumes. Speaks volumes, man. Hey, look, I want to just thank you first and foremost for coming on. Appreciate you saying, hey, gotcha. hey look, I'm going to rock with you, man. So carry on, sir. Yes. Um... The one watch right here, this 10th anniversary, I'm going to show it to you here. Uh oh, this way. Mm -hmm. okay, I know a lot of people are familiar with this uh, excursion. Right. I'm going to show you the lug that's missing on it. Uh oh. Uh, which way am I going here? Yeah, I know. Hey, it's it's kind of hard. It's goofy foot. So, yeah. Yeah, trying to get it to where people can see it. Is that oh, it? No, other side. You. Uh, there it is right there. That look oh, there. Wow. Now, I've worn this watch probably five times since uh -huh. I've had it. That's it. And um, 
I've had three watches that did the same exact thing. And you don't know until you just happen to just go look at your watch and, uh-oh, I got a lug missing out of here. So if anything, I would like for Invicta to improve improve this part of it because these watches here, man, I mean, we spent a lot of money. I bought this watch at the top. So, I mean, I spent close to five, $600 for this watch when it mm. first came out. And this is like number 35 out of 500. Oh, wow. So, naturally, I care a lot about it, especially for the number and so forth. But I just called down in Utah, the casing and a new bracelet for this watch, 400. 400? 400. The is bar that, replacement. Now, is that, is that um, are they going to do it themselves or are they just sending you the replacement parts? These are replacement parts. So I, the bracelet's got a few, it's got a little scratch on it. I don't like my watches with scratches. So I, um, I wanted them to go ahead and replace the whole thing. And that's for the bracelet and the case. And he's giving me a discount on that. Okay. Okay. So, so, let's, so let's, let's talk about that real quick. Hey, what's up, Leo, man? Thanks for coming in. So from my perspective, bro, like I worked in, like for people that don't know, I used to work at K Jeweler and we had, uh, Man, Boulevard, we had we sold used Rolexes. Um, uh, man, Citizen, Movado. We sold all these watches, right? So, like, I'm gonna say Movado, for example. Movado had to be probably of all the watches that we we uh have repaired, took the longest time because you have to send it back to Movado, they send it back to Switzerland, uh, they do a gas test and they do everything, and your watch is gone for like three, four months. Or three months, oh. three months, and then oh, wow. it comes back. And regardless, now this what used to make customers mad is like, hey, I just spent sixteen hundred dollars on this watch, or twelve hundred, or just depending on which one they got. And, and you mean to tell me it doesn't come with a, a warranty? I said, well, this coming straight from Movado. When they when you send a watch back for whatever reason, once they open it up. They charge you to put a new battery in it and new gasket. They charge you. It's $90. Even, even in warranty, you have to pay $90. Now, you don't pay the shipping and all the other stuff, but you pay 90 bucks. And people are like, I shouldn't have to pay anything because I just spent $1,600. And unfortunately, you know, um, their course movement is, uh, I mean, it's running when they buy it and the battery may die. You know, you never know. Sometimes the, those Movados sit on their shelves for a little bit, then they come yeah. to us and they sit in our case for a little bit. You get it, and you probably got a month in the battery there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It man, happens. I tell you, I've sent a few watches back. And I'm going to tell you, man. I mean, this my Black Panther watch. Remember, I was telling you about that. COVID hit. I didn't get my watch back for seven, eight months. Woo! Seven, eight months. And you know, I, t I told you I was changing out the, the strap to put a bracelet on there. Right, right. And um, man, seven, eight months, dude, before I got that watch back. And then I had to send it back because the casing on the back faded. So I had to send it back again. I had to pay for the postage or anything. They went on and took care of it. Right. And they put the number back on the back because it was a limited edition. And, you know, I'm not knocking them. Dan Fraga out there, kudos to him because he takes care of me when right. I do send them back. But, I mean, there's some certain things that, you know, I'm never going to leave Invicta. I love it. Trust me. But um, yeah. there are a few things I think they can improve on. You know, sometimes I wish they come in the chat and listen to us and let us explain to them, hey, can you put this out there and see if you can get this fixed or uh, give us some insight on how, how we do things so, or how they do things. But for the most part, man, you know, I, I love Invicta because of the variety. Uh, 2020 was my first cruise. Um, I've never seen anything like it, bro. I'm going to tell right. you, getting out there, man, people you don't know. You know me, I didn't like all that water. I, I had just, <laughs> uh, my very first cruise, bro. So, but it was totally different, man. It was a family that it's like I was uh, adopted it and then I found them again. You know what I'm saying? So, Kudos to the Invicta family, dude. I, I welcome anybody who wants to. 
Oh, hold up, hold up. Oh, I, I got it. I got I gotta put this out here, man. We just got a super chat, bro. Hold on, man. I've been waiting to use this thing for a minute, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, A Trap, I got it. Tomatoes, lamb, ram, hog, dog, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, chicken, turkey, chicken, turkey, beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes. Thank chat. you for the super chat. Thank you for the super <laughs> chat. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like that. So and, you think you're you know, about to bounce out, bro? No, no, I got to get a dip. My headset's uh, going dead. I got another set over there. I'm trying to get my wife to come downstairs to get them for me. But anyway, you know, I wanted to get on, show my face so people know who MJ Sick with it is. Um, I appreciate it. Appreciate you know, it, and, bro. and it, like I said, I've talked to you, Kenny. I've talked to Steve quite a bit lately. And um, like I said, you know, I look at all you guys is out here doing this thing on YouTube. Man, find a way to get another 40 haters. That's the way I look at it. Y'all doing a fan fantastic job, dude. So thank you. Thank you. So appreciate keep it up. It. You know, keep the family going. Yes, 2022, sir. we got the cruise, I hope. 2022, but, got the cruise. But, you know, we're we going to party. We're going to have fun. We're going to show love. Godfather, all you guys, you know, I can't wait to meet you. Can't wait to break bread with you. You know, so, yeah, on that note, um, since my wife can come downstairs and get my headset, I'm going to break from you and get somebody else in the chat. Okay. All, all right, right then. How about you, bro? Take care. Thank you, bro. Appreciate it, man. Hey man, that's my guy, man. Like I talk to him on a on a regular basis, man. Like he real cool dude. And the fact that he showed up today, man, like that's crazy, man. So hold on, man. Let me go ahead and bring up the man real quick. Go ahead and uh I, I dropped that. I dropped that link uh for my man Steve. I know he wanted to come in, you know what I mean? What'd he do? Guy first. Oh man, hold on. Guy first. Meet nah. I know her fight is my fight, you know what I mean? Don't let me hang it. I got barbecue sauce on her. Yeah, oh, yeah. Barbecue sauce. Time to leave work. Oh, that's a good thing, man. Time to be off. Hey girl, look at you. You shining. Come on. I'm gonna tell you something. What? Oh, thank you. Hey. Ooh. Hey, what's going on, man? Yo, what's happening, bro? Where you at? I'm in my basement, man. I'm just chilling down here. I was watching on my thing. The alert never came up. You know what I'm saying? No, I need food. I don't, I don't need that. Man. The alert I'm never came up. Food. Bro, so... I'm going to go outside on my porch, Trap, because uh, this is weird. Yeah, I'm going to go outside on my, my porch. Where you in the basement? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna go on my on my porch, man, where it's lighter out. But yeah, I, I'm gonna these QC issues are crazy. Let me do that. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, I didn't I didn't get the alert that you were uh, on, and Kenny said you were on. All right, let me go on my porch. I'll be good. All right, here we go. Here we go. So yeah, man, these QC issues are crazy. I can't believe that uh, MJ. It's good to put a a, a a face with him. That's yeah, crazy. Yeah. And having the and he said, "What is Black Panther? Seven, eight months, man. It's insane, bro." So, I mean, you know what? It yeah, Vic was on already. Um, I get it too. Like, so we had a conversation, and the, another reason why I started doing this format is. I do also like what he said. I would love for a victim or a representative from a victim to see this right. and say, hey, we got it. We, we we hear what you're saying. Let's get it done and knock it out, right? Right. Because for this watch, this right here is one of my prized possessions. And then that like some it's people at Invicta that know that. You know, the people that work at Shop HQ know how I feel about the military. Right. And when I got this watch, like I said, one of this was the most emotional purchase I ever made with right. the watch. You know what I'm saying? Like it just it just was, man. It just it gets me. You know what I mean? And then I wore it and then I start seeing, I said, wait a minute, it's blemishes on this thing. Hmm. And I said, hold up. I said that hmm. it's peeling. I said, Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. I mean, that yeah. threw my whole day off. I bet and like well, I was at work and I was up, I'm I'm telling you, I was so upset. I was like, Mm. That's garbage, man, because right. at the end of the day, 
I know what Invicta has done because I have so many watches in, in my collection to where I'm like, I haven't had those type of issues. And I know when they do those ink, the ink, again, I use this for example. Right. I wore this watch during Enterprise, my Enterprise days, where I'm watching cars every day. And not right. just one car. I'm talking about whatever car comes in. I wash it, get ready for the next customer. And I'm vacuuming and all kind of stuff. I right. dropped this watch. I bang this watch around and like I know you can't really see it. It's like little imperfections on it. Yeah, it's right, scratched right. up. <laughs> this watch got the business and the yeah. ink never came off. Period. Yeah. Right. It's crazy. Well, you take care of the watches you gave me. Let me tell you, those two, those two that you gave me, bro, were in pretty pristine condition. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like I was looking them over because I'm real anal like like uh MJ is. I'm real, I'm real I take care of my stuff. Look at that one I gave you, man. I only wore it half a dozen times. I take care of it, man. I polish them like Kenny. I put them away. Yeah, you got it on. It looks good on you. That's a great fit, man. But yeah, you took care of those watches. Now look, Ken Spears got on me this morning. Did you see that? When uh I put a different watch on, you know, I put my the custom PK horology abalone on he said so much for the honeymoon with the traps watch and i said well you know i gotta spread the love around a little bit because i didn't have that one too much i sent it back to pk as soon as that uh stingray came in you know because i had to get him to adjust the lugs so you know i didn't even have a full day remember it came in before you and me did our show on your stream yard mm -hmm. and i didn't even have a full day with it so it was nice to get that on the wrist and you hear something funny vintage invicta said what is that cow or what kind of, I'm like, no, it's Stingray. Like, <laughs> he thought it was, you know, leather. I'm like, nope, that's exotic, man. That's Stingray. <laughs> yep. I, so, Steve, I mean, we asked, we have Vic on, and, you know, of course, he talked about his magnums earlier, man. And this whole show is based off a of conversation me and you've had, right. you know, right. and all the people that, you know, collect watches, period. And from your perspective, what is, like, what is the one thing that you like? Or if you, you can say it is not one thing, but, like, what are the things that you like the most about watch collecting? Okay, well, number one is this. It's, 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 the, it's, it's the family. It's the watch family. Because, look, uh, MJ said it straight. He's been talking to me a lot. We did a phone call. Me and uh, Tony Godfrey did a phone call. Um, who else was it? Uh, me and the Maryland and Victor chapter guy, um, Anthony did a phone call. So it's all about the fellowship for me. It's all about this family right here. That's what I enjoy the most about collecting Because look, before I was on Instagram, I wasn't on Instagram till 2018. Okay. So I was just a lonely collector. You know what I'm saying? Just talking to my watchmaker only. So I decided, man, let me get an Instagram, you know, and see if there's people on here that like to collect watches. <laughs> Boy, was I in for a shock with that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> So, no, seriously, it's this. It's this right here. This is what I enjoy the most. Forget the pieces, Trap. It's all about the friendships to me and the, the watch family, you know? Like, look, you all have taken me in since you and me are trying to bridge this gap, and we're doing a good job, but everybody's been very receptive, and all the Invicta fam here has accepted me and took me in and made me, me feel like I'm welcomed, and that's the main thing, so... It's definitely just all about the friendships. That's that's it. I'm making so many friends here. So that's what I like about watch collecting the most. That's that's it. Seriously, forget the watches. It's about this, man, because at the end of the day, you're going to have your watches. But friendships, I mean, come on, man. Friendships these days are hard to come by. Now, think about it. We've all been on lockdown. We've been talking to our watch family people more than we do friends. You know, my best friend, I don't even see him really. Since COVID hit, I've seen him twice him and his wife twice and they live right down the street trap like literally they're a five minute walk from my house but i'm hanging out and fellowshipping with you guys more than i am my, my friends in my neighborhood it's crazy you know hey, i want to welcome t to the chat What's and, up, uh, we got hey Suze. what's up hey Suze? hey appreciate you guys coming in man and then of course my lovely wife is in there dc world and uh nightwing nightwing Oh, yeah, what's Nightwing, Scrap Trap? What's Nightwing? I'm trying to find Nightwing, man. I can't find them on IG. These people come up that ain't Nightwing. He must spell it a weird way. I can't find them. I want to friend them, and I can't find them. Hey, Nightwing, man. Hey, find Steve on IG, bro. <laughs> the Watch Corner, please, please. You'll see my mug, the Watch Corner, 700. Yeah. I can't find Nightwing. I was going crazy this morning. I'm like, man, come on. Because I, watched, I was watching that, you know, and I'm like, man, that's crazy. Yep. Yeah, I saw him last night, bro. Um, dude, 
and I'll say this again, reiterate, I really enjoy like the watches. Like if you do put the pieces on the table, you know, like just think right. about what watch collecting looked like last year. Right. You know, for for Invicta collectors, the cruise is like um I would imagine like a Super Bowl or, or something, right. you know what I'm saying? Like it's that time where you forget everything that happened or like you could remember everything that happened, but right. none of that matters once you get to the cruise. Right. Then we start making plans and then, you know, vid hit. And like now, only thing you could do is buy watches online. Some of your favorite watch collectors or like favorite brands right. have to switch up because Edda, Edda said, hey, I'm not making, you know, I'm not going to sell my, my uh, movement to certain brands. We're going to do right, our own right. thing. So, like, now Edda, the more pre premier Edda movements are in your favorite watch collect, you know, your collection right. anymore. Unless you have some of that old stuff. Right. And you're like, I, I really don't want to have to go over to this watch brand to get an Edda movement or get right. a certain movement. So, we've seen people, like, piecing watches together. And so, you had you know, PK Horology, right, which right. can pretty much get a move in and make a watch. Right. But everybody don't have that. Right. You know no, what I'm saying? Right. Like, and, and that's the bad thing, man. So we literally right. had to piece ourselves together and keep some type of camaraderie going and Saturday right. doing last year. And right. now here we are, it's 2021. Right. And watch collecting is starting to get that that, you know, be revived, so to speak. There's still right. a lot of people, uh, a lot of companies not producing on that level. Right. It's just true. not, bro. Like, shipping lanes are jacked up, you know, so people are still like, particular pieces. Now, right. from our perspective, you hit, you hit the nail on the head with the, the family piece. Right. That right there is probably, like, for me, like, one of the most important parts of it. I mean, that's right. why I do the show. Right. Let's just be honest. This is why I do the show, bro. Like, is I enjoy that, man. I want people to come here and have a judgment-free zone. And we've had people in the chat that, you know, will say something like, well, why are you guys collecting this? You should collect that, you right. know, or or like they'll say, well, we should be able to have a grown up conversation about it. And I'm like, I want you to look at it from this perspective. Right. If I enjoy a particular brand, let me enjoy it. Right. Hey, wait a minute. Vic, Vic, Vic said, Steve, just worry about your watch battle. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> come on. Come on, Vic. Hey, the gloves is off with Vic, man. You wait till Monday. Yeah, but look, I know, look, 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 check this out. Trap, trap, what they, what I told them and Kenny, look, look, I, I came in the last two minutes of Kenny's live, okay? It was mm -hmm. funny. Kenny's like, oh, crap, Steve's here. I can't show him the watch. He was joking. Then he showed the watch that he unboxed. But I tell him in the chat, I got my two-year-old nephew, Marshall, coming over from 4.30 to 6 on Monday. So I'm hoping he don't wear me out too bad during this little press conference we're doing, man, you know? Because <laughs> it's going to be on. It's going to be on, bro. You're going to have me and Vic in there with y'all. Yeah. Ain't no telling what we're going to say that day. Ain't no yeah, telling what's going to happen. Hey, hey, I know, I know. But look, 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 check this out, man. Guess what's coming in for me Monday? My hydroplated Hydromax Pro Diver. Look, FedEx. They sent it FedEx trap. I'm excited. So I paid 16 shipping, but it's coming Monday. Hey, in the post office, I wouldn't have got it till after the battle. So, yeah, <laughs> definitely. I, I'm going to size that puppy. I'm going to try to do it myself, and I'm excited put because I, I want to put that one up, I think. Hey, hey, do what you got to do, man. Hey, welcome in, short bus, man. Pull up on your boy. <laughs> We got short bus, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, short bus. I'm gonna have to talk to you offline, bro. I've been watching some of your stuff, man. What's that? That tra the trap pastor or something like that? That's hilarious, y'all, man. <laughs> hey, uh -oh. this man, look, short bus is funny, man. Like stupid funny. Man. Yeah. <laughs> hey, if you having a bad day, go over to short bus, pull up, bro. I'm telling okay. you, man. Like All it, right. up. Cool. He on That's he awesome. on YouTube, man. He been on here for a minute, man. He's been hey, look, for a minute. Hey, hey, look, check, this, check, check this out, Trap. I just made my new intro, okay? I'll, I'll tell you because you're my boy. So what I did was I put different watches, and this is why I was a little late to your show. I put different watches and bracelets on my arm, so I did a movie and created a movie with my music from Adrian. So I put all my special pieces from all my friends like you, from Adrian, from Average Joe, so it's cool. So I can't wait. Check out my review when you get a chance. 
I mean, well, wait, wait till I put one out next week. But yeah, I, I thought I would do that special. So everybody who gave me a watch, I put it in my. But you know how you do in your video, you pull all the the watch family up. You know, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. So I'm excited so, about that. So you you miss you miss how this starts off, right? You miss how this show started off. Right, right. But it's the, it's pictures, right? Yeah. Hold on. I'm gonna give you okay. another description. Stand okay. by. Okay. I love that. I love that. That's sweet. That is sweet. You even had an AP on there, man. Have you seen that? Yeah. Hey, I noticed the Blanco, the Blanco Seiko 5, too. You know, I, I, yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah. Hey, nice. I, I, should, I want one of those, man. If I can get my hands on one of those, it'll be the Blanca. Yeah, me too. That was my yeah. favorite character in that um, franchise playing Street Fighter, man. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. You know what? I actually watched. Um, who was it? It was one of those guys that's always running his mouth on, on, on YouTube, man. He bad mouth. He bad mouth from Victor Collectors, Hubo. Uh, Hubo, Hublo Collect. How Hublo, you, however, you, right, right. <laughs> he always bad mouth to somebody, man. Act like, like, mm. like a little, little jerk or whatever. But yeah. he bad mouthed that watch. He said he hated the fact that Seiko did a collaboration with Street Fighter. And I said, oh. look, here's oh, the crazy thing is if I had to rate a watch and like, Mm, let's see. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you one real quick. All right. Okay. Flame review, y'all. Flame review. So this watch right here is my Victor. It's a specialty, right? Okay. Yeah, especially. Right, right. Okay. It's a nice watch. I like it's it. Nice. It's sentimental to me. So if I had to be very honest with you, right? There's a lot of value in this watch for me. Right. So that wouldn't that wouldn't help you out though if you wanted to be like, hey Trap, where did you get that watch from? Like I bought oh. it, you know, from Invicta website. You may right, be able right. to find one of these. You know what I'm right. saying? Somebody got it. And they say, Hey Trap, I found one, it was like $130. You think it's worth it. For the most part, I would tell you to go in a different direction. Right. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. Like being honest. But for right. me, this thing is priceless because this is one of three. I right. got one of three. This one of these, uh, my oh, father in law, wow. which passed away, he had the red one. Okay. Uh, in this one. So this one is a part of my family heirlooms. You know what I mean? Right. So my and this with this these other people when they rating these watches, they're like, ah, I wouldn't wear it. I wouldn't wear it. I watched uh watch box yes two days ago. Right. And they rated the uh he did a review on the new uh AP Black Panther. Okay. And do you know y'all just go watch it? And he okay. said, not saying that people said this, but he said for those of you guys that said you didn't like the fact that you put a, a Marvel character on there, and then the fact that, that it's a black superhero, I right. can't help you with that. So, he's just recanting those statements, or just saying, that, hey, I've seen what you guys are saying about this watch. Because right. you either love it or you hate it. Yeah. And on average, I think the watch is $162,000 to start. One okay. of them, I don't know which one, I think there was 200 made, and maybe that was number one that was uh, auctioned off. Right, so one of the five, yeah, five million, five million, yeah, five point two million. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. million. Crazy, crazy trap. Crazy. But you know what? Here's the deal. I like the watch. If and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna just say this: if one of you celebrities just happen to see this show, and you feel bad for poor old trap, and you want to buy me that turbion, <laughs> I'll gladly take it. I bet you would. <laughs> I bet you would, man. Hey, well, let me know about the Diablo X Men when Wolverine. Let, let me know, Trap, when you hear something on it, because I want one too, bro. Ooh, I, want one. I want one. Let me know, please. Let me know. Um, hey, I, I, I want one. I got that. You know, I got the Iron Man Diablo, and that you were so right. In the core of the chest, if they would have put that open heart on mine, that would have been dope, man. That would have been dope. Why yeah. didn't they do that? Come on. I hey, I would have paid an extra hundred bucks for that. You know what I'm saying? I, yeah. you know what? I don't know. I, I think honestly, if they would have did a, a, a turbion in that oh. Diablo with that uh 
with the Iron Man. Right, right. That would have been crazy. Yeah. They would have people would have bought it. People would have bought it, man. And see, uh -huh. the deal. from your from your eyes, right, right. From your eyes, you're attracted to that. I mean, like, uh show show people your tattoos, bro. Like on your hands. Show okay. people. Yeah, like look, this is this is my pocket while it's the time me and my wife got married too, 30. And then uh hold on, man. My dad drew this. This is special to me as a Viking. Got to get the camera right. Uh, yeah, man. My dad drew that for me. He said, special. My dad draws a lot of my tattoos. I get ink, man. And I got the whole cross scene with the Bible. I got a onion mask. Yeah, man. I got him. I got my dad's Vietnam patch. I, that'll be, I'll have to try to do that one. I did my dad's Black Hawk down Vietnam patch with his name and an army helmet, too. This camera, you know what I'm saying? Trap on here is weird, dude. Like, it's so weird. It's the opposite yeah. of like on Instagram. It goofs up everybody. I was seeing uh, MJ, too. It's like you're trying to put I his do the same thing. There. I do the yeah, same thing. Yeah. But see, I brought, I wanted you to show your tattoos for a reason because, you know, there are people, uh, that don't like tattoos and they right. feel like uh that's distasteful but that's right. something that you like you got something that your dad drew right and that is solely on you right that is exactly. solely like literally on you but right. Right. It, yeah. it, it's up it's to you right and um you are uh, from from my perspective you like different right. i've seen i've been i was going through your watches on instagram you like okay. different man and i'm right. i rock with that man i mess with that man uh, right. And you are a different type of guy, man. And uh, again, we came together through a watch, man. It started with a right. watch. You right. were looking up, you know, Victor Clue stuff and found right. me. And, like, here we are. And that's crazy. That's been, what, how many two months? months? About, two about months? two months. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Bro, that's crazy, man. So, again, I want this format to be a safe space for anybody right. that want to come up here and say, hey, I collect Seiko. I collect right. Timex. I collect a little bit of everything, micro brands. Anybody is welcome on here. But what right. I, I, I can't deal with is okay. the whole, like, the bull, don't bully. Stop the bullying, man. This is yeah. a bully-free zone, bro. Like, right. that. Well, well remember, remember, hey, Trap, Trap, remember when, remember when we did, what was it? You, what's it, what was it, Trap? What was it? Well, you were live or something. What was it when, remember that guy, my buddy that came on, Couscous from another country? Remember uh -huh. we were talking about in the comments, remember? And you addressed it. You you addressed oh, yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because, it, okay, so we were saying that, hey, uh, why don't you collect this? You should, like, right. instead of collecting that, you should collect this. And I'll say, out of respect for the people that I have on the panel, they collect in Victor Watches. So right. you can't come in here and, like, tell these people that they're wrong for, you know, like, why, right. why would you tell somebody they're wrong? And right, right now, like, and I, and I encourage people in your own right. time, do this. Go in Google or go into YouTube and type in watches or type right. in affordable watches or whatever the case is. And right. you will see a list of people. It goes on for on and on and on and on. You'll see all these expensive watches and again, you may not see the brand that you support in there. And I can guarantee right. you now, but if you put hate watches, right, <laughs> you'll see Invicta and you blow, see, right? You and you blow, <laughs> you know, and you're right. like, you'll see those too. I think people hate those equally, man. They hate right. both, like, they hate those brands so much. I know. And I'm like, bro, man, if you want to buy a big bang or if you want to buy something, right? What, who am I, to, who am I to say, you know, uh, I do like Jacob and Company. Some yeah, people yeah, yeah. I've seen some it's some hateful stuff saying about that. They like those watches are ugly. All right. I'm gonna tell you this. They're beautiful, I think. I saw like that flying turbine that uh gosh, it was a fighter, man. I can't remember his name who bought it. I think he paid like a million dollars for that watch. All right. That watch is so planetary looking, man. Right, it's, right. it's crazy. I, I like it. I don't well, have a million dollars to throw in it, but do you watch producer Michael? I watch producer Michael, and yeah, he's a big yeah, Jacob. Michael, and Co. He some... He's so humble for as rich as he is, and you know what I'm saying? H two O, Deer Park. Uh oh, wait a minute. What she had you with Deer Park for? She wanted to. She wanted to blow some up a couple of days ago. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I finally found some at a Man. gas station here, yeah. so I ain't got to come right. all the way to Tennessee, Kenny. I'm sorry, uh, Kenny. I won't blow you up no more. <laughs> I got my water. I'm not jealous anymore. There you go. So, so if I gotta ship you some Deer Park, I can. We got Deer Park out the Yin Yang here in Baltimore, man. Like we got it. Like I can send you some. <laughs> he said, "I love producer Michael. I do too." Producer Michael. 
has a, and there's a, there's a producer Michael Hater on YouTube. Yeah, I there's bet, a guy I bet. that bash. He was like, I think this guy is gaudy. He's this. He's that. Hating this guy, and, and people get that's how they get their views. I can right. guarantee, I can, and I would, I would never do this. I'm telling right. you, I would never do this. I'm not gonna sell right. none of you guys short. I'm not gonna sell myself short. But right. I tell right. you, he speaks volumes on this. I can sit here and bad mouth and Victor watches. I can say, right. you know, I can guarantee you this. If I said I'm done with a Victor and I put a video out saying I hate a Victor, down with a Victor, I'm trading all my my collection in for right. a Rolex. I'll probably that video will probably go viral and yes, probably right. get, I don't know, a hundred thousand views or something crazy. But I'm not doing that, man, because that's not where my heart is. You know right, what I'm saying? Like right. it, it, especially in this climate that we're in right now, I mean, it's a lot of people out here, man, it's shady, man. Like I I can't, bro. I gotta keep it a whole buck, as my man D would say. I gotta keep right. it a hundred with you. I can't do that, man. Right. I won't do that. So right. again. We're going to keep pushing this this narrative, man. We're going to keep pushing this series, man. So, like, one of the next ones, I still do flame reviews. Uh, I'll do, like, if somebody want to talk about their watch collection, man. Like, you guys, I got an email that you guys utilize, man. Just shoot, shoot me an email. I'll pull you up on the next show. I'll, I'll build a show based around what you want to show and cool. how you feel about watches. It's cool. easy for me to do that. Right, you just right. have to give me ample time, though. Like, give me, you know, give me time to to get, you know, like, look at the content that you want me to put up here, and I'll put a show together for you. I even right. do, like, you'll be on a thumbnail the whole nine. I don't, you don't have well, to see my face on a thumbnail. Well, well, let me tell you my horror story QC issue with Invicta Trap, okay? Um, I'm going to say this was about four years ago. I bought an Invicta specialty, and on the back of the case, it says the tri Night, like, tri Night, okay? And I liked it. It was a black PVD bracelet. You know, it was a chronograph. It had some cool silver inner circle dials in the in the chronographs and stuff, and I liked it. Okay, so I think I paid maybe eighty bucks for it at JC Penney's. Okay, and I loved it. I just liked it. It was my the go to watch when I couldn't decide. I would slap it on. I loved it, you know. So anyway, when it came time to needing a battery changed, I took it to Tony, my watchmaker. Okay. And he could not get the back off of it, Trap. It was a quartz. I mean, and, you know, he knows what he's doing. He's been doing this for over 40 years. He could not get the back off. And after trying and trying, he almost broke one of his case backs on the back of it. And he shook his head. He said, Steve, he said, Invicta, what they do is on some of the case backs on quartzes, they put them on by a machine. And if they don't calibrate the machine after so many thousands of watches that they do, it gets screwed on too tight. So you know what I ended up doing with the watch trap? I ended up throwing it out because it could not be open, man. It upset me so bad. But there's nothing I could, unless I could have sent it to Invicta. I guess I could have trapped. I probably could have. It was only $80. I probably could have sent it back to Invicta. But by the time I did that trap and got them to do it, they probably would have charged me. It would have cost more than the watch was worth. You know what I'm saying? That's yeah, my, been, that's my QC. Yeah, that's my to, QC issue. Yeah. You could have, you, yeah. So I have a watch. My wife actually uh, got for me. And we have a, a machine. Like, well, when I used to work at uh, K Jeweler. Right. I had to send it in for them to do it because I couldn't. I actually broke my, you know, right. like I had, I broke it trying right. to get it off and yeah, it just yeah. snapped. I said, oh right. my gosh, right. man. You know, my came back. My the, yeah, yeah it, it literally broke. I said, crap. Right. Yeah. So I sent it to them and they had to machine it out. And uh, they said, hey, we got to rethread your, your watch. Yeah. I said, what? They said, yeah, we got to yeah. rethread your watch because they machined it on. And I was like, right. I can't get rid of this watch, bro. I can't pitch this one because that was the first watch my wife ever bought me from Invicta. Oh, ooh, okay, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I hear you, Trap, but I, I, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, what's that? What's that? Looking good. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, man, this uh, this is gonna turn into a mukbang, you know? What I'm <laughs> yeah. Man. So uh, that's crazy. That is crazy, though. So they had the machine. So what it cost to do that? I mean, that probably cost more than the watch, right? Just like no, what I was. No, in. it cost it cost me twenty five dollars because oh, I got okay. the forty pricing. Good. So, so I was good to go. So good, uh, good, good. With good. that but still, being you know said, what I'm saying? Bro, Trap is so discouraged. Uh, I'm actually. We're about to. Uh, we're about to end tonight, and uh, oh, I think we lose you, Steve. Where you at, bro? You freeze it up on me. All right, it's starting to freeze up some. All right, I'll jump off, man, so somebody else can have a chance if they well, want to get on. Hold up. 
Hold up, hold up, bro. Okay. Hold on. I can't let you yeah. leave yet because oh, I'm okay. actually gonna have you close the show up. Oh, okay, okay. All right, let's go. Cool. So, family, y'all already know me. Y'all know what I'm about, man. I want to leave this honor for my man Steve the Watch Corner man to close the show. And on his word, we'll be done for the evening. So, bro, oh. you got the show. Okay. All right. Hey, guys. Look, uh, this is your boy Steve from the Watch Corner. I want to thank everybody for joining Trap Vision 3D Travis for this. This is an awesome new concept for a show where anybody can come on and be their self. And I just want to leave you with these words that I say on the end of my videos. And thank you, Watch Fam, for coming in there. Please remember, time is short. Let someone you care about know how much you love them today. Thanks, guys. Last chance.